Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good weekend. Um, I wanna talk about abnormal volume and fake breakdowns and fake breakouts. So it goes a little opposite. These are things to look for in order to avoid getting trapped either on the long side or the short side, okay? One thing to notice here is abnormal volume mostly occurs after the first 30 minutes of the market open. Um, I'll show an example of when it occurred during the first 30 minutes of market open and what, and what that looks like. But I want to show you another example and several others of what a breakdown looks like that does not have abnormal volume. So it's not really a panic. Okay. So let's take YUMA, for example. And this would be on 9 11, 2000. <coughs> 2019 and in this chart there are several breakdown points so you can see that the average around this time looked to be about 125,000 so a lot of people have asked me you know how come you seem to know what amount of volume needs to be had in order for this to really break down and be real. Well, it's right there on the volume chart. It's not fancy. It's not some mathematical formula. I mean, sure, it's mathematical formula, but it's addition. It's basic addition. So I look at this and I go, an abnormal volume breakdown during this time would be very, very high. Clearly, you can see the average is right around you know 375,000 during these first few minutes. So if this were to hit this level and reject, that's a good sign that it's going to retrace. Now, I know a lot of this is hindsight, but there's been several times where I've shown people in chat live before it ever happens what needs to happen in order for it to be a real breakdown. So this is not hindsight analysis. Of course, it is analysis of previous things that have happened, but it's basic technical analysis, but on volume, okay? The same thing applies on volume that it does on price. So it could have caught some stop losses right there. And that's why you have a candle that's a panic like that. But what happened? All the bidders using this support over here as their stop loss are now buying that and that brings the wicks here. So that is not, that is an abnormal volume panic, but not a breakdown. Okay. This is a breakdown right here. When it closes below, well, looks what look at what happens. This candle right here is 274,000. This candle right here is 208. It broke a key level, but could not exceed the volume on a candle that did not break a key level, but still sold off. So that is a good indication that there's not a lot of supply coming in. There's a little bit of panic, but there's not retail day traders not giving up on this, right? So now that we're able to analyze it that way, let's kind of span forward here. And you can see that now it starts to support. And look at the consistent volume here. Look, I mean, it's almost a mirror of itself. You get the panic right there, the small amount of panic. And then what does it do? It starts to, it starts to pull back lower on the same 100, about 130K volume, 125. And then it goes 125, low volume, 125, low volume, 125, low volume. And then it starts to accumulate. And then, bleep, volume burst. So now 
you're able to look at this and analyze the volume in real time of what's happening based on the prior amounts of volume. So when I'm looking for a breakdown that is a real breakdown on abnormal volume, Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.